Sometimes, these aircraft that we send abroad are piloted by our own boys. And I can tell you that those boys are proud of their Russian colleagues. How do I know? Because they told me so. Russians are technicians of the first order. They are most uh, splendidly suited to the fighting front with tanks and aircraft. And I needn't tell you tank builders and uh, the aircraft industry that modern war depends upon the tank and the airplane. You know it. You're making the weapon with which the war in Europe will be won, and uh, won by Russia with our support, with our backing. But it's just as much a necessity today to turn out tanks and aircraft as guns and uh, machine guns in the last war. So now the burden is on your shoulders. The responsibility is in your keeping. You're just as much concerned in the defense of Leningrad. You're just as much involved in the battle for Moscow. You're just as deeply committed to the fight for Odessa as if you were manning a tank or flying an airplane. For there can be no battlefront without you. There can be no fighting front unless you turn out the weapons of war in sufficient quantity to supply the armies that are fighting on the battlefront. Now, I'm not asking for the unreasonable or the impossible. Far from it. I'm asking for a spirit, for a determination, for a resolve on the part of the factory men and women of Britain, in the tank industry and the aircraft industry, to turn out so many of our weapons of war that there shall be no shortage on the battlefront.